everybody welcome back to the lesson radio show this is mr clark in the station with miss isha ray miss how you pronounce it isha ray isha ray and miss g <laughs> <laughs> and we're here for our final episode which is senior seminar so you want to do your hot topics first um or you want me to go first? You can go first. All right, give me... A... I don't know if I have any hot topics. They're not really hot topics. It's just what's in the news right now. We're going to do it rapid fire style like you told us. Okay. So, this week, I only have two for y'all. I'm supposed to have three. Ohio primaries tomorrow. I want everybody to get out there and vote. Um, it does Polls open at 6.30. It doesn't matter who you vote for. Just make sure you vote. I want the biggest turnout that we ever had. I think this election has been the most publicized. So why not be it the most uh, most publicized, most polarized. So let's be the most polled. How about that? <laughs> um, and I also want to address Senate Bill 180. That's in Kentucky. They're actually having... They proposed a bill that would protect proprietors who have chosen to not allow certain patrons to solicit their to solicit their products and services mm -hmm. based on religious views. Mm. So while I also feel like people who I also feel like it's a win by knowing who doesn't want you there. Mm -hmm. To not go there. Because I would rather you not make my cake than you make my cake and spit in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we have to be careful of taking two steps forward and one step back. Mm -hmm. So that's why I want everybody to look into Senate Bill 180 put out by the lovely people in Kentucky. Mm, Senate Bill 180. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up. You got something? Um... I know yes. you did. <laughs> like, I know yeah. you did. I didn't know which, how I wanted to bring it. Um, we can talk about it, talk about it. I didn't necessarily want to talk about mine because I knew that would be confrontational, but I definitely wanted people to go out there and research it. But yours is kind of soft, so the station won't have any issues with oh. it. Well, you know, I mean, if you wanted to think about it, it's okay. I was just going to plug that we need to start our book club. Oh, yes. Absolutely. You know, and that um, in talking about research mm -hmm. and things that we should be well-rounded and we should know about. Mm -hmm. So um, did y'all notice, I'm sorry to cut you off, Miss G, but did y'all notice at the beginning of the show we was like showing our wretched side, kind of talk about hot topics, but kept it analytical from the academic. And then in the second part, we went straight academic on you. So the purpose, of, another purpose of the show, all, in addition to being multi-generational, is to show you that there's two sides to everything. There's a wretched and there's a royal. We need to work on both of them. <laughs> wretched and royal. Wretched and royal. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, after some discussion, we made a book list. Mm -hmm. um, some, some of the books we've read ourselves, we've talked about, and some of them we intend to read, and we hope that the um, listeners will um, join us in participating in our book club. In our book club. So for um, after the show, it's kind of a af not an after show, it's a continuation of the show. If you're interested, we're going to be reading The Four Agreements. Let's read it, everybody. It's a very short read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's all read that together so we can analyze each chapter per sh we're going to analyze a few chapters per, per show. We'll let you know how many chapters we're going to analyze per show. Knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we're trying to encourage people to read, but also understand the lessons in what we're reading. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's Thank you, Charlemagne. <laughs> Mr. The no, I don't play them games. I hate that he called himself the God. Well, oh. I mean... That's another time. It's a, That's mon it yeah, it's a moniker. I get yeah. it. I get it. The base guy, people, you know, they call whoever that was, whoever the base guy was, you know. I don't like playing with that word. He's like, look, <laughs> he I said one and only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I call him Charlemagne. <laughs> right, see, Charlemagne. Um, I guess my topic is the devil standards that we have when it comes to relationships, mm. specifically. Mm. Um, you got the Ciara and the Russell and the Russell Williams thing or Wilson, I'm sorry, um, thing and everybody is but well not everybody, a certain male demographic is kinda of butthurt about uh is butthurt that she basically moved on. Moved on and moved up and did a glow up. But no one where was this backlash when Neo was married? 
and the girl or he the girl that he was with you know had his child mm-hmm. and then she got a um what are those things called where she can't have children anymore yeah and then he done moved on and and married somebody else yeah, and had a, a child yeah, with him like two right yeah no she got her tooth burned yeah. So, <laughs> so now, yeah, she got a so hey, now, it's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap for real. And it's like, you know, where this is a double standard. You got two kind of couples that were in the limelight where everybody is like, I can't believe Ciara did this. And I don't, you know, Russell Wilson, he, he settled for her because she didn't been this and that. And she was with Future or whatever. But where was he saying certain demographic of men? I'm not going to call them what they are. But where was they at when Neo did his thing and now they, this They look, didn't defend her. Right. And mm-hmm. now this woman is out here. She If she meets somebody else, she can't have children with anybody else after that. Mm-hmm. Nobody said anything about that. So this is a... I just think it's a double standard. You feeling a certain type of way about I do it? feel a way. You know, why, leave that woman alone. Leave that couple alone. She didn't deal with a certain demographic of males. I actually really, really like, really like Future. He get me through my my workouts. Okay, maybe I'll give him a chance then. But I don't know right now. But if you listen to the lyrics, why would she want him around? That's her what I'm kids? saying. And he's disrespectful right. to her. He says like, "I choose the coding over you." I'm like, "Well, okay." Right? Like he does certain <laughs> like he does these things that are just so deplorable. And you expect her to want to be with this person? Like he didn't want to. He didn't want to be with his son until he saw somebody else being and taking care of his son. And it's like, oh, well, he can't just take care of my my son like that. Well, maybe if you was doing what you were supposed to be doing and not talking about coding and women, you wouldn't be in this situation. I am totally in the dark about what <laughs> coding is, but that's okay. <laughs> But what is that? The lean? I'll the find out. The lean. What? The yeah. Scissor. That's what that is? That's what that is. Yeah, it's codeine, what... pop, uh, and... We're we going to pretend like we don't know that much, at least. <laughs> I mean, the only reason why I know it is because... The wretched promote... and the royal. <laughs> the only reason why I know it, they did talk about it on What Dr. happened Oz. was they were talking about it. That's how I know. <laughs> on, I didn't... I no, do not partake. I'm just playing. He put the ingredients in every song. He, he does. Made. But they talked really? about it on Dr. Oz because they were saying how kids are getting these things oh. and it's just everyday items that, you know, you have in your house. His feelings are is Very hurt. hurt. The, his feelings is hurt. That's mm-hmm. what it is. And this is how he is responding to it with all of that rhetoric mm-hmm. and, you know, that behavior. And this is a certain, dem- he's just part of that certain demographic of males that we know the term. I just can't say it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lord have mercy. I just put together what you was looking See? See? You gets me. <laughs> but, yes. Yeah, so, that was my, my topic of the double standards. All right, all you guys. That's Senior senior, senior Seminar. What well, has been popping in the news? That's all we have for you this week. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions for the show or some hot topics you want us to address, you can always send those over to X. The lesson at gmail.com or you can catch us live on livestream.com backslash lake effect where you can watch the show live and actually chat with us and ask live questions. We actually have a call in number. I'm not going to give that right now because it's on my phone and I'm using <laughs> my phone to do Facebook live, but we'll definitely drop that off to you next time. And we appreciate you joining us. See us, see me next week when I do my. Young show slash solo show. I'm still scouting for some young co-hosts for me and catches in the next two weeks where we're going to come back with our new segment book club where we'll be reading the four agreements with Miss E, Cherie, and Miss G. (laughs) (laughs) All right, you guys. Bye. Thanks again. Bye.